Hey guys, what is up? And today I'm going to be talking about the concerts I went to in 2022 and give them a rating. So, the three bands I got to see this year was Slipknot, Hippocampus, and Surf Curse. So, let's start with Slipknot. Slipknot, I saw them in May, and um, I'm not sure how to say this um, band's name, but Horror opened up and Cypress Hill opened um for Slipknot there for that concert and hmm horror not my style of music but they did have a lot of energy and uh Cypress Hill I like them I don't listen to their music and it was probably like my first time ever listening to Cypress Hill music um besides you know hearing a couple of songs by them in the past but they one thing I remembered from Cypress Hill was that in the last so- few songs um they did a cover of jump around and that was pretty cool because it's kind of crazy seeing people mosh to cypress hill covering jump around in the pit like i wasn't in the pit but i saw the pit from where i was um at and it was kind of funny it was kind of funny watching that um yeah united punch to the face of the sky right now we're gonna do this together all right look instinctively you're gonna know exactly what to do, all right? <laughs> and so then Slipknot um, came on and it was pretty cool because the um, when they opened, the curtain for Slipknot just whoosh. You have nothing to contribute to this, so stay the fuck out. That's honestly kind of sick. I, I like that Slipknot did that. And this is my first metal concert um, that I've ever been to. And um, it's louder than... It's definitely louder than um, other, two other concerts I've been to in the past. Definitely way louder. Um, and if... Uh, just don't do what I did. Bring earplugs to every concert you go to. Because you will lose your hearing. And you will damage it. But anyways besides that um slipknot had good songs i don't remember their entire set list but um i think it was pretty cool seeing them they had the i think they're called pyro pyrotech i don't know whatever they're called but like the equipment that has like flames and stuff those things those are pretty cool too and there's only a few problems i had about the concert um one i wear glasses and the problem is personally i forgot them and that's my fault and i was sitting all the way in the back as you can tell from my view and I, it was kind of hard to see them um yeah but that's on me that's on me and i think that's honestly the only problem i had besides it was with mommy besides um not wearing earplugs because i didn't i didn't know how loud it would actually be that's on me um yeah that was Slipknot and here's a few clips
honestly, I give Slipknot a solid rating. Seven, no, actually no. A great old eight out of ten. Um, yeah, they were really good. I like them a lot. Okay, so on our second stop, we are going to be waiting. Uh, Hippocampus, and I saw them about a couple months ago in October. Now, I walked in that building. I'm, I was like, you know, I'm gonna have a great time. It's gonna be fun. I forgot my glasses. <gasps> I forgot my glasses yet again. But you know what's fine? Because we were standing on the floor. We were pretty close. We were kind of close to the stage. And I was like, you know, it's going to be completely fine. I'm, I'm still able to see. And, um, you know. And I was also in there thinking, it wasn't going to be that loud. Hippocampus? No. No. Not that loud. And what was I wrong? Because I forgot that. You know. Um. The the concerts still reach a hundred decibels when you're there. Like it's not just like, you know, it's it's not like it's just gonna be quiet. Okay, it was still really loud, and it hurt my ears, and I didn't have earplugs yet again because I really did underestimate that. Don't do what I did. Okay, wear earplugs to every concert you go to because you don't want to end up like me. Okay, I, I'm probably I probably have damaged hearing right now because because of um going to concerts without earplugs but anyways it's but besides that who opened up for them chai yeah chai i never heard of them well i never not like i never heard of them like i saw them that they were coming i just never listened to their music and then and, and boy was i in for a ride because when they came on they were they had so much energy they brought like like they, they, like, they brought so much energy that I didn't even have that much energy. Like, dang. But they, they did put on a good show. Um, they were pretty cool. They had costumes and everything. The drummer. Oh, I don't know who she was. But she was amazing. But I liked her a lot. Anyways. After try. Hippocampus was ready to come on. And I don't remember the what the opening was really like, honestly. But what I will say, the lighting for the stage lights for them was beautiful. It was immaculate. They had nice oranges, nice purples, just like nice warm and cool colors up there. And it was just like beautiful. It made them look really good. And I think that's what every concert needs, honestly. A little bit of backstory. I started listening to Hippocampus about three, four years ago now, in 2019. The first song I heard by them was South. And when that song came on, when I tell you, I cried. I cried during a few parts of that song. It was beautiful. It was like my life came full circle. It was like, this is, this is where I'm meant to be. In that very moment in that concert, I'm like, wow. Like, everything just started making sense. I don't know why. Like, my whole life, it was like, this is what this moment led up to. Like, everything in my life, this is what it led up to. In this very moment, it was beautiful. I loved it. south it was great it was good i had a blast and it was my first time ever being on the floor in the pit you know and it was a nice controlled calm concert you know no one was throwing hands or anything it was fine it was completely fine i will say though that at one point in the concert i think it was when chai was still on someone someone i mean it's not their fault but like someone really really tall like he was really tall went in front of me my mom and my sister 
and we're like this compared to this guy we're like very small and we could not see and so i made it my very best effort try and find somewhere else on that floor for me and my sister my mom can see uh the stage still um we're not finding a spot thankfully but oh my goodness i could not believe it like like out of nowhere this guy just comes in front of us like come on you're super tall man but anyways i don't think it's his fault like he didn't be, he didn't ask to be tall on purpose um anyways yeah that was hippocampus and i give that a rating and an 8.5 out of 10 yeah that was pretty good okay and so our third and final um band concert we're going to be rating is surf curse i saw them um like beginning of december uh this this month and you know they're pretty good overall i had a blast and i think it was my favorite concert this year honestly um so let's start from the beginning i go on the venue i finally have my glasses this time which i think made definitely the difference of me liking this concert more um but yeah went in there fortunately the floor we were near the stage was was crowded already and i was like i don't really want to sit all the way i don't want to really want to be all the way towards the back because i can't see so me and my mom we go upstairs instead and we get a balcony view you know it wasn't bad but at the beginning it was bad because let me tell you that balcony was already filled up lined up with people and i had one near at the corner of where the stage was or kind of like the corner like very back corner and i could not see like i could i could barely see the stage but <coughs> i wasn't gonna complain or anything i was here for the live music i was here to listen um um but and but then we kind of like scooted a little bit over eventually when the concert kind of started with when mama came on so i was like okay it's fine i can see a little bit i can also like you know crouch down to look at better a better view so it's fine um yeah mama came on and you know i never listened to them before that and they were good they were good you know i just i don't really i don't really have much to say about mama they were pretty good and during the end of the set they started like a nice little like mosh pit i guess or like a some sort of like jumping pit something like that i was like you know wow that's great um then surf Chris came on i honestly don't remember what song they opened up with but um yeah that was i mean it's pretty good um also before i, I go into surf Chris, shout out to that one um i don't know i guess guard that came up to balcony because he had to be there and he had to be in the corner where i was at and so he told us to well people and people next to me move this way more so that he could be there and did that make the difference of me seeing well because i could actually see the stage a little bit better concert is starting the crowd is getting a little bit crazy okay and i don't remember i don't know if i mentioned this but thankfully we were up on that balcony because my mom, me and my mom would have gotten eaten alive down in that pit. People were crowd surfing. People were jumping. People were like running into like the middle of circles. It was, whew, I did not expect that for a Surf Curse concert. Okay. I knew Surf Curse went hard, but I didn't know the crowd went that hard for a Surf Curse. You know, I can see why now because they are really good live. Like, you know, they have a lot of energy. They interact with the crowd a lot, you know, and people in the crowd also really had a good concert etiquette for each other you know making sure pre picking people up after they fell you know making sure people are okay after like you know being crowd surfed all in all it was really good i remember at one point during the concert since the crowd the crowd was going so hard they were passing out free water bottles to the crowd you know they had like a little nice little break just to, like you know get people water and i think that was really good um, I mean, it wasn't a lot of water to cover the whole entire crowd, but people were sharing the water bottles. Um, you know, people were sharing their waters next to each other, air sipping, just so people could, you know, make sure, you know, they're not going to pass out. 
which you know it's it's basic human decency but it was great to see that at a you know at this concert um see that like you know there was really good there's a lot of care for the crowd um yeah um besides that freaks came on and that was probably like the first song i am you know i got to listen to by them i got emotional during it not gonna lie i got emotional good you know and the set list in general their music not only was the music really good but they had really good songs on their set list like they had a lot of good songs they liked they had um they had lost honor they had midnight cowboy they had sugar they had freaks they had like all these all these great songs i really listened to that i really like and listened to by them um then you know the concert's coming down to an end Disco comes on as the encore song. And I'm like, wow, this is really great. Because you know why? There's a disco ball in the room. There's literally a disco ball in the room. Like, that was pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, and he kind of went hard for that. And he, he, didn't, he didn't go on the drums this time. But he was singing. And there was someone else doing the drums for him. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. And I don't know what it was, but... Something was, like, it was, like, really, it felt really close. Like, it felt really, really, really intimate in that concert. Like, the, like all the, the two concerts I went to this year. This is the concert I felt most intimate in. And, like, he had really good, you know, I mean, the band had really good, um, contact. I think the good, really good, like, um, I call it contact with the audience. You know, said hi to the crowd, of course, and, like, in the pit. And said hi to even the people in the balcony. I think that was great, and I think it, like, it was a it was just a really nice concert to go to in general, and yeah, I give this concert a 10 out of 10, and that's why I didn't give the other concert 10 out of 10, because I mean, honestly, they were all really good, but this one was my 10 out of 10 for this year, personally, but yeah, if you ever get the chance to see Surf Curse, you totally should, because they do throw on a heck of a time. That's pretty good. And here, um, here's some clips for you. So that uh, this is my conclusion to all the concerts I went to this year. Um, I wish I had more to say for the other concerts I've been to, but I think the problem is that it's been a while since I've been to those concerts. Uh, so like I don't really have a lot of memory um, of those concerts, but yeah, they're really good. Um, I'd highly recommend seeing the bands I talked about or start listening to them because they're good. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you want. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.